What's up, guys? We're back in Emerge NYC, and we're going to be going over the AI functions today. We're going to be doing a little bit of a guide. That's not uh, common for me, but uh, we've had a lot of people asking about that. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. My name's Spur. We're back at it. Like I said, we're more Emerge NYC. We're on the Brooklyn map, and it is Friday. The weekend is already upon us. Looking forward to it. Let's go ahead and get right to it. So... Uh, you know, I've done this for a while and I use AI from time to time and I really just kind of taken uh, Just taking it for granted that people knew how to use it And I've had a lot of questions here lately about uh, like I said, how does this stuff work? So uh, The very first thing that you're going to want to know is of course uh, How do you spawn units in so we have our menu down here at the bottom? It's going to tell us a lot of different things We have the uh, unit spawn there. We're going to hit new unit at the very bottom there and we're going to hit FDNY because we want a fire truck and we're going to spawn some units in it's got this little tiny list right here that you have to kind of look at my eyes are almost too bad to read that but uh I can make it out uh we're going to do engine two three four let's select him and you're going to hit confirm and it's going to spawn that unit in just here shortly it's going to take a few minutes here all right, there we go. Two, three, four is up. It's going to be at the station. You can see it on the map over here in the bottom left with the uh, the red circle is going to show us where it's at. Uh, the first piece of equipment that you spawn in always takes the longest. Everything after that point kind of spawns in pretty quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in the ladder with him as well. Ladder one, two, three. We'll hit confirm. There you go. He pops right up. No problem. So they are both going to be right here at the station. All right, we're in the RTS view. Uh, when you first load into the game, you go to the RTS view, right? If you want to jump on a piece of equipment, then you select that piece of equipment right here and you hit join. And it should put us back on it. Hopefully, it's probably going to take a few seconds because uh, this is the first time we're jumping on. There we go. All right, so now we're crewing engine 234. We're not going to do that quite yet. And we just got a call as well. Let's open up the door. Let's hit the F1 menu. We're going to close this out. We're going to clear it because I don't want to respond to anything just yet. So we're in the first, or I guess you could call this not first person, but third person view, and uh, we're manning engine two, three, four. If you want to go back to the RTS view, you hit F2, and it's going to take you back to it, right? All right, and if you want to manipulate the camera, uh, you can use uh, WASD to uh, move your camera around, uh, just like you're walking around in third person mode, right? And uh, Q and E is going to rotate the view as well and then you can also hold your middle mouse button you can hold your middle mouse wheel down and you can change your view with it as well so as you can see we can look around like that there's our station there's our equipment right there all right so how we ai this stuff all right we're just going to take this somewhere down the street here just uh just for testing purposes here Let's uh, let's go down here in front of these buildings right here with the uh, nail salon. We'll go check it out and tattoos All right, so in order to AI this equipment down here What you're gonna have to do is you can see you've got your list right here. This is going to be all your spawn vehicles on the map We got engine two three four in black and uh, ladder one two three in red and then over here on the side It tells you the color codes as well Two engines are black ladders are red squads are yellow rescues are uh, blue and uh, battalions are white. I'll say right off the bat. You cannot AI battalions. It will not work at least the last time I tried it. It wouldn't work. So All right, let's go ahead and if you click on engine two three four You're going to see over here on the uh, bottom right hand side here. It's going to say active selection engine two three four and uh, That is going to pull up your AI menu for this piece of equipment so now we have control of engine two, three, four. Let's say we want to move them down here in front of the uh, tattoo place, right? You're going to hit move to, you're going to left click that. And you're going to see this x-ray vision uh, kind of transparent fire truck, right? You can rotate him with your middle mouse wheel. Any direction you want, you can kind of position set it up the way you want it. We want it by this hydrant right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to now right click where we want them to go and you sometimes you'll hear a response on the radio of them heading this way so we'll do that and let's do the same thing with uh ladder one two three actually let's hold tight for a minute i want uh two three four to get here first before we do one two three uh, the big thing you're going to run into when you AI equipment on scene, like that's the bulk of what I use the AI for, is just to get equipment from point A to point B. 
so I don't have to spend my time driving all the equipment all the time. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I drive it. Sometimes I AI it. But AI is really handy for that. Uh, the big thing that you're going to have to be aware of with AI is that, uh, one, it's not always going to respond, right? Like sometimes it may bug out and not make it there. Sometimes you may find it like stuck somewhere uh, between the station and the fire. Like they might hang up on a car or a, a light post or something like that. So uh, that's the first thing. They're not going to respond accurately 100% of the time. If they don't show up, then there's some kind of issue going on somewhere. Uh, the second issue is going to be parking. As uh, my rule of thumb is, if the parking is crucial, if the positioning and location of the equipment is crucial, let's say especially for a ladder, if you want to park it in a certain spot and hit a certain window with a ladder, uh, you better just drive it yourself and park it because parking isn't going to be completely accurate. We'll see how accurate this guy is to where we put him. All right, here he comes. Uh, not bad. He's pretty much in the right spot. He may roll forward a little bit, but he's pretty much in the right spot. Uh, let's go ahead and do one, two, three. We'll, uh, we'll left click him. All right. You see in our active selection says ladder one, two, three. We'll hit move to and we'll park him right here. So if we right click, that's going to put him in that spot. So anyway, back to the parking issue. Um, like I said, if the parking location is crucial, you might want to drive it yourself or you could kind of maybe AI it to an intersection and then jump on it and park it where you actually need it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a big deal. Also, if the area, if the fire scene is congested and there's a lot of equipment there and you AI something in like into the middle of that area, it may result in some weird parking like I've had trucks uh, humping each other and just doing all kinds of weird stuff. So. Uh, that is something else you want to be aware of. Like I said, the parking isn't always going to be accurate. These did pretty good here. These did pretty good, but uh, it's not always like that. All right, so now that we've got this equipment here, um, we've already got ladder one, two, three selected. So there's a lot of functions down here on the menu. You've got, uh, let's see, move camera to units, uh, drive, stop truck, uh, two firehouse, emergency lights. That's going to cut them on and off. You see, if you select that, it cuts them off. And select it again, it cuts them on. These functions I hardly ever use. Like move to is the one that I use like 99% of the time. Then below that, you got slow down, normal speed, speed up. Uh, move aerial ladder, rapid deploy, uh, cancel action. And then below that, you've got uh, toggle scene lights, uh, spray deck gun, uh, empty vehicle, lay in. And I'm not sure what that one is right there. The functions that I use more than anything else out of all this stuff is move to, uh, rapid deploy, a cancel action, and uh, two firehouses. That's basically it. I mean, you can use all this other stuff, and we will, but uh, those are ones that I like. Those are my core uh, abilities that I like to use. So if we uh, still have ladder one, two, three selected, you hit uh, move aerial ladder. You select that, and then let's right click own this window right here and you're going to see a little red dot right you, you can barely kind of make it out there there's a little red dot eventually it's going to position the ladder there it's not going to be immediate it's going to take it a few seconds let's go check it out he'll uh he'll start deploying his outriggers he'll do all the thing there you go all right he's doing his thing I don't know why I don't use this function more because it actually does work out pretty good. All right, you see his outriggers are down and there goes his ladder. His ladder's coming up. That may not have been actually the greatest uh, window to do that for, but we'll see. We'll try it. There you go. He's in the window. It's not perfect. It's not always going to be perfect. You have to kind of play around with it a little bit. Like if you want to get it exact, you might have to, let's see. What if we, if we collect, uh, click a little bit below it, it might lower it down. I've honestly never repositioned it after I've gotten it out. So I don't know how this is going to work out, but we'll see. All right. We'll let him do his thing. Uh, let's go back to engine two, three, four. So we'll left click that. And uh, we'll hit rapid deploy. And what that's going to do is it's going to get a supply line ready to go. And it's going to pull an attack line for you as well, too. It's going to pull a few links of attack line. 
Uh, it looks like the hydrant is, uh, everything's ready to go. Like you're set and ready to go. Let's go to, uh, let's see, where's it at? Uh, spray deck gun. So we do have two, three, four selected still. Let's hit spray deck gun. We'll left click that. And then we'll go over here and we'll right click that window and you see the blue dot. All right. You see the blue dot. It's not very accurate though. Like we're going to have to play around with a little bit. Let's uh, let's raise it up. We want to hit that window there. Looks like I got to hit it again. Spray deck gun. And we'll go up above it here. There you go. Got it a little bit closer. All right, let's hit it again and go up just a hair higher. And there you go. It's set up and ready to go, right? Looks good. It worked out really nice. Like I said, I should use this more. I don't, though. Uh, what else do we have? We've got uh, toggle scene lights. Let's go back to ladder one, two, three. Let's hit toggle scene light. And it's going to cut the light on. Usually it looks like, uh, from what I can tell, the light follows whatever the ladder is doing. So um, I've never been able to control it from the ground. So I think it only follows what the ladder is doing. In fact, let's change the night. Let's change the time. Let's go to night a little bit here. We'll go to uh, like 1800, something like that. Looks good. All right, uh, let's go back two, three, four. Let's select him and let's hit uh, toggle scene light. And there you go. I think that one follows the the deck gun as well too. Uh, I'm not sure, but you can control it from the ground. So let's hit F2 again and it's gonna bring up our unit spawn, except uh, instead of spawning something, we're gonna jump on two, three, four. So we'll select it. We'll jump on the driver, there we go. And we're on it, right? So if we go over, let's see, which side is it? I can't remember. Uh, I think it's going to be opposite. Okay, the other side. The side with the light. If we go to the side with the light, and it looks like, yeah, it went back the other way. That's interesting. Yeah, it's facing the other direction now. Uh, if we select, where is it going to be? There we go, scene light. If you select that, then you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard to position the light, even though it's like really kind of a pain to... And there you go, we'll get it shining over here. Looks really good, I like how that looks. Looks really good. So this one you can move around and you can position a little bit as well too, so that's pretty cool. All right, there we go. Um, I don't think you can do the scene lights on this piece of equipment. I'm not positive on that, but I don't think you can. I don't think you can on the ladder. I don't see it popping up. Maybe some of you guys that are more familiar with this can uh, chime in on that, but I don't think you can. I don't see it. I think it's only on the engine. So there you go. We got uh, scene lights, we got our ladder deployed, we got our deck gun going for uh, training purposes here. Let's see what else. We've done rapid deploy. We've done uh, move aerial ladder. We've done sh spray deck gun and we've done toggle scene lights. Uh, I think we're good with all that. So let's go ahead and hit uh, F2 again and get back out. Where's our scene at? There we go. Rotate them back around here. All right, there we go. Very nice looking uh, view there, right? Like, that's not bad at all. And if you hit the uh, backslash key just above enter, um, it'll take your uh, HUD down and you can get a nice view of it that way as well, too. Um, a lot of this other stuff, the slow down, the normal speed, the speed up, I never mess with that. I've never had any reason to, uh, to mess with that. So, um, the camera yeah i i just i don't mess with that like i said i purely use this as a way to get equipment from point a to point b for the most parts uh let's go ahead and uh let's hit two three four we still got him selected let's hit uh pack up and let's see what they do this is a function that i don't really use so we'll see what he does he did pack up, but the deck gun looks to be going. I wonder, can we cut that off? It doesn't look like you can. Yeah, it looks like once it's going, it's going. Like, there's nothing you can do to uh, stop that. All right, let's hop back on the engine. Let's go back to 234. And we'll just grab the deck gun ourselves.
There we go. All right, let's cut you off. There we go. All right, so we got him put back up. Let's go back to F2. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, so he packed up. He disconnected from the uh, hydrants. Uh, he took the uh, supply line back in, took in the attack line as well. Uh, let's toggle the scene light back off. There we go. That's off. And let's send him back to the station. So what we're going to do is click the little firehouse right here. And it's not wanting to work. I don't know. The menu is looking kind of weird right here for whatever reason. I don't know why that is. Yeah, it's being weird. We should be able to hit that and uh, send it back. Let's see if the lights. Yeah, none of these top functions are working. I think it's because the menu is kind of compressed down for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really sure what's going on with that. All right, let's do ladder one, two, three. Let's uh, let's hit uh, return aerial ladder. There he goes. He's right. He's automatically right back. It's like there's not even an animation for that. All right, and let's toggle the light off. It looks like he's taking his uh, outriggers up. Yeah, he's good to go. All right, let's see if we can get this guy to go back. There we go. All right, he's doing his thing. He's going to return back to the station. Let's go back to 234, see if we can get him to do the same. Uh, the firehouse. There we go. All right, yeah, the menu straightened back out. So <laughs> you can see, this is the weirdness I was talking about. You saw it. They, they despawned, but that was weirdness that I was talking about. And they should be back down here at the station, right? Yes, they are. They're in the station. Let's... Uh, Right click that door and right click that one and they should be at home. Yep, there they go. All right. So hopefully that'll give you guys a little better idea of how that works. Like I said, if anything, I just use the move to, you know, select a piece of equipment, hit move to just to get it to the scene so you don't have to be driving 50 bazillion different pieces of equipment. So. All right, now that we've gone through the AI functions, let's apply this to a fire. So what we're going to do is hit F1 pull up the map and this is going to be fire top four people yeah I, I don't want to do that let's do our own let's do our own let's find one let's hit the uh, call list and we'll go through some of these and see if we can find one that we want to respond to i saw one the other day that i was really curious about responding because i it didn't look familiar to me uh let's go to this one right here let's do that one it's going to be engine two two one four two three four two two seven uh tower 111 ladder one two three let's pull all this down and we'll go find it's just down the street here a little bit maybe one of these over here somewhere maybe where you at i know you over here there it is right here this is the one okay yeah i saw one the other day that i wasn't familiar with at all like i saw it burning it just spawned on its own and i was like i don't remember that fire so i don't think i've ever done this one anyway now that we've got that going let's see we needed uh 214234 and 227 all right so let's do that let's hit new unit fdny 214 we'll hit confirm all right since i reloaded the game it's going to take a hot minute for this to load oh it just went up big time there you see that don't take it always takes the first piece of equipment is the longest to spawn in and then everything after that's pretty quick let's look at our fire though it caught up really quick there we go 214 just spawned in that's why i had that little bit of lag spike there um let's find a hydrant real fast before we do this uh we've got two on the corner there and one way down the street yeah the hydrant situation kind of sucks a little bit there but it is what it is all right let's take 214 and actually we're going to ai him here so let's uh left click the 214 there hit move to and we'll put him i think right here should be good we'll do that all right so we'll right click that location and let's get some ladders here as well too let's go ahead and hit f2 spawn some more stuff in uh we'll do two three four let's get him here confirm he should pop right up 
There you go. And a one, two, three as well. Where you at? One, two, three. There we go. All right, let's try AIing one, two, three here in front of the building. So we'll hit move to and we'll put him right here. And we're going to put two, three, four on the corner to man the hydrants. We'll do that. Let's see, two, three, four. Let's grab you and hit move to. And put you, actually, let's do it right here. Let's kind of leave that open a little bit. All right, so they should start rolling up any time now. Should may take them a minute, but we'll see. Can we get this? Can we do anything from the rear? No, we can't really. Uh, that alley right there, maybe we could kind of. I was thinking more in terms of like uh, ladders and tower ladders and stuff. So it looks like everything's going to be from the front here. Uh, let's get tower ladder 111. Let's spawn him in. All right, there we go. 214 is here. Let's get tower ladder 111. All right, we'll confirm him. We could. This button right here in the middle, you could hit uh, spawn all and that will put everything on the map. Uh, I've done that a few times. I would uh, advise against that, especially if you're kind of having a hard time running the game. All right, let's hit uh, tower ladder 111. Let's hit move two, and let's put this guy down here. Is our other engine here? No, they're not here yet. We'll take them a minute. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's dump our tank. Let's dump our tank on 214. Let's select him. We got him selected. There you go. Engine 214. And let's hit uh, spray deck gun. And let's see if we can get at least a little bit of a knock on this. Come on. Up higher. Up higher. Up higher. 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 It's not, <laughs> it's not wanting to do it. Yeah. We're fixing to dump all our water big time. Come on. Up a little higher. There you go. There you go. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. All right. Let's over here on this side too. There we go. No, a little too far. A little too far. Back the other way. All right. Ladder one, two, three. We hear you. There we go. All right. Nice. Uh, we had a little effect on that. Yeah, we did. So that's good. And two, three, four is down here as well, too. So let's scroll back around. Let's select two, three, four. We'll left click him and hit rapid deploy. Now, this is one thing. I like the rapid deploy, but I wish you had two different ones. I wish you had a rapid deploy for... Uh, the supply line and then a rapid deploy for attack because we don't need attack on this guy right now So let's go back down. Let's hit. Uh, let's join two three four There we go has some major lag lots of horn usage here. Yes, we know you're here dude like you don't have to It's not necessary. We don't need all that mess Let's hit F it'll return all the hoses minus your supply. It won't return it Let's double check make sure we have inlet Yes, we do have inlet. All right, we're good on that. I hate it that they went to that, though. Like, why didn't they go to this hydrant? That's the closest one. Damn, our tank just keeps going, right? Like, we're still using the deck gun. I guess it's not tied into the water supply, even though... Let's look at it real fast and see here. Now it's going down. Now it's going down. Okay. All right, that's fine. All right, let's pull a relay, because we're going to need to establish the supply with 234. So let's run him down here. Get a relay going here. And hey, we'll go back and grab the other end. Get him straightened out. It should be running out any time now. That's what I'm thinking. Any time now, right? Let's see. Yep. Any time now. Okay. Uh, let's grab you and go to the inlet side over here there. Let's run back real fast if we can get it We should have started pumping when we were down here. Oh Fast dude faster. You need to go Williams go ah, Williams you let me down All right, let's uh, Get our pump going here There we go two three four is doing this thing now Yeah, let's see what our water spot looks like. Should be good now. Yes, we are. Sweet. All right, let's go back up. I think we're done with AI functions for now. 
I don't get too crazy with it because, like I said, when I was trying it earlier, it uh, it locked the game up. Locked the game up on me. So, if anything at all, if anything at all, just use it to get your equipment from one point to the other. Like I said, you, that works most of the time. Every once in a while, it won't. But, like I said, you may be waiting on a certain piece of equipment and it just doesn't show up. And then you surf the map and you find it, like, stuck somewhere. You know, I mean, you'll see that every once in a while. But... Uh, for the most part, it works really good. It's pretty solid, pretty solid feature. As long as you don't get too crazy with your parking and stuff like that, you should be all right. All right, so anyway, before the video gets too long, we're just gonna grab a hand line and knock this out before we do anything else. Like I said, we've already gone through all the uh, functions and features and stuff like that, first part of the video, so. I'm just showing how you can uh, use this stuff to uh, to your advantage to get stuff where you need it. All right, let's, uh, let's, oh man, you need some Gatorade or something, man. Do that. Can we get some Gatorade? Can we get Gatorade off of here? I know you can. Yeah. Uh, where's Gatorade? I know you got Gatorade on here, dude. Uh, the cup. There we go. Nice. All right, let's grab you and hook you up right there. We'll go back to our hand line. Get some waters on this. Got to get the fires out, you guys. And this, I just want to clarify, this is separate from the new AI update that will be coming out eventually for Merge NYC. The new AI update is going to take this to a new level and you're going to have like little AI firefighters that you can control and have them doing their own thing and, and so on and so forth. It's going to be like a, a true RTS mode. Um, right now, the AI function that comes with the game is purely equipment related, that sort of thing. So, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. I haven't heard anything else on uh, when the new AI features will be released. But I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what they do, what they can get done with that. There we go. I think we've got a good knock on it now. Yeah. We'll have to check this downstairs out here. Yep, there's there's fires in here too. We got fires all in there. How to get it knocked out. This is a good building. I can't believe there's one on the Brooklyn map that I have never responded to, right? Like I've never been to this fire. All right, let's drop you down right here and let's find our saw. I think it might be on the other side, maybe. There we go. Get her K-12. All right, we have a lock. Doesn't look like there's a lock. Okay, that's all right. Locks have been kind of wonky anyway here lately. You know, when I first started playing this, the locks worked out pretty good. Like I could cut them off really easy. And then now, not so much. Like I have a lot of trouble with the locks. So I don't know. I don't know what happened with that. There we go. Right, let's get you cut top to bottom. Pop back up. Make sure we get it really good. Okay, there we go. Let's drop you down right here. We'll hit X, drop that, and let's grab our hook. I always have more luck pulling the metal doors with the hook than I do the pike. Like, the pikes never really work that well for me. I don't know why. We'll do the hook, though. The hook will get it. Oh, there's cars in there. I didn't know that. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right, let's get all the jaggies because I'm just really anal about it, and I just feel like that's like a huge safety hazard to have these pieces of sharp metal sticking out. So we're going to get all the jaggies down. Let's get them all. Can we get that one? Come on. Yeah, I knew it. All right, let's get this in two. There we go. All right, doors opened up. Let's drop you down here. And what do we do our hand line? Where'd she go? Our hand line disappeared. What is up with that? That's weird. Just took off over here under the box van. Williams, I you need to get the lead out today, dude. I don't know what his deal is, but man, he is just like slow as hell today. He's just not feeling it. All right, let's crouch down. We'll hit Z and we'll start getting the ceiling here. We're not gonna worry about air. I, you know, you guys know in Emerging YC, I don't always bother with the air unless it's just like actually killing me. 
I just don't like refilling tank after tank after tank after tank of air. Like, especially when you're single player, you have to do that. So it's like, I'd rather get water on the fire than continuously replenishing my air tanks. So we're good. We're all good. We're doing it like they used to back in the day. Eating that smoke. Eating that smoke for breakfast. It is amazing. I, in all seriousness, it's amazing that they used to do that back in the day. Like, I... I Man, could you imagine the long-term effects of that? Like, I'm really wondering, uh, old school firefighters from like 40s, 50s, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s, 50s, even before that, before they had air, uh, what kind of like lung issues and stuff did they see? You know, what were some of the long-term effects? Like, I imagine maybe COPD wouldn't be a thing, you know? Gosh, lung cancer, like there's just, there's no telling. All right, it's going pretty good upstairs. I think we're good down here, though. This is a cool fire. I really dig this one. Like, I like the location and everything. It looks really good. All right, let's... Why do I see fire right here? Oh, it's in the wall. This is my kind of fire, friends. I really like this one. It's not too terribly bad either on performance. Like, it's all right. It's not the worst. That's my second most asked question. Or probably my first most asked que question, actually, would be performance. And uh, second most would be the AI. So, uh, real quick, on performance. Uh, anyone is having issues running the game? My best advice to you guys, and I'm not an expert on this. There's just people that know a lot more about it than me. My best advice would be just go into your graphics setting and set everything to the bare minimum every single thing just lower it all down as far as it'll go jump in the game and see what it does if it's doing better if it's doing better for you and you're able to uh, play at that point then go back to your graphics settings and look at it and pick out some of the things that are most important to you like shadows i could really give a damn about i you know when it comes down to it shadows i don't care um, yeah, I have shadows on now, I think. I've gone back and forth on that, but uh, shadows are something that I just don't really care about. So there's certain things, you know, that you may prioritize. I used to do the 3D hoses all the time. That selection kept clicking off. Every time I would go in the game, it would be off, so I don't even care. I, you know, I mean, 3D hoses are nice, but it doesn't really ruin the gameplay for me because I don't have 3D hoses, so... Everyone's different. Everyone has a different opinion. You know, they have different likes and things of that nature. So, we'll uh, we'll look at the settings here in just a second. Here, as far as like what I'm doing, my settings vary a lot. And then the other thing I would suggest to people, uh, you know, if you're having trouble running the game and you bumped all your graphics down and it's still kind of a laggy mess, is to go in and downscale your resolution. A little bit i did that before in the past for a while i kind of thought about doing it again but it doesn't uh it looks good like you can run it just fine the game itself but if you downscale the resolution something changed and it doesn't display right in obs i don't know why it used to uh, i can downscale the resolution and i can play the game and it's full screen for me all day long every day it looks like nothing really changed other than the resolution went down right but if you look at it in OBS, uh, it puts black bars around the screen and kicks it off to the left. And I've tried everything under the sun to uh, fix that. It didn't always do that. It used to do fine in OBS. Like you could downscale it and it would be fine in OBS, but it doesn't, it doesn't do that anymore. I don't know what changed, but something certainly did. All right, we got some more fires here. Let's oh, I keep hitting that. Playing the different firefighting games really jacks with me as far as the controls. All right, I think we're good with that one. Uh, we may have some fires in this other room right here. We'll have to check it out. Let's see. The deck gun really helped us out, I do believe. It looks to be okay. Yeah, all right. Let's go back downstairs. We'll drop this hose. We'll get a pike, and uh, we'll pull some ceiling and some walls and do we do i still hear fire yeah i hear fire in there so there's something going on somewhere all right let's go back 
Anyway, this is just a brief guide to help everyone out. I've always said I'm not a teacher. I'm the last person who probably needs to be teaching anyone anything, but I just, that's like questions that I see all the time. How do you AI and how do you get your performance uh, better? You know, so uh, once again, I am running Horizon 3700 with a 2070 Super Video Card and uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, Windows operates on an NVMe drive. Uh, my All my games are on just like a regular old hard drive though, so. Nothing really, uh, nothing really special with that. All right, let's see. I, I think we're good. Like, I don't, I don't see anything else. I don't hear anything up here. I think it was mostly downstairs where I heard it. Get over here. I love the, I love the overhaul, the demolition, the overhaul in this game. Like that is so much fun. I think it adds a lot to the gameplay. Any of you guys that are real life firefighters, you know, you're the first people to know that it's not all about uh, putting water on fires. Like, that's probably really a very small percentage of of it. Oh, damn, it just shot me across the... Let's pull that down. I don't want all that mess down. I keep forgetting about that menu. I know people's like, why do you leave that menu up? I just forget. I forget to pull it down. I don't think nothing about it. And there's no bother with it. I think we're good, actually. There may not be any fires down here. I thought there was, but there may not be unless there's some on this wall. They lucky these cars didn't get burned up down here, guys. <laughs> these cars are okay. Didn't even scratch the paint. That's nice. Let's keep tearing some stuff up here. Yeah, I think we're fine. I don't hear fire anymore. I think it, I think it's out. That's the one thing it doesn't it doesn't tell you like if it's I don't know. I mean, really in real life it doesn't tell you either. You just have to go until you know it's out. So, you know, I scratch that. I was going to say I wish it would tell you if the fire is out, but no, I would rather it not, honestly. So, I I would rather do the investigation and figure it out myself than to have the game just be like, okay, you're done. You know, oh, you've you've got it all put out. There you go. Yeah, I think we've tore up just about everything we can in here. We've even taking the studs down. Nice. We're doing full full demolition. Yes, I love it. Get that window too. Let's get it all. There we go. There we go. Glass and everything. Yes, yeah, studs, glass, you name it, sheetrock. We're getting it all. There we go. All right, I think we're good. We're going to call this. You know, well, no, there's some ceiling right here. Can we get that? No, we can't. We can't reach it. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're going to call this one good. All right, real quick. Before we go, let's hit escape and let's go to settings. And I'll show you my settings real quick. Uh, let's go to graphics. It says quality right now, but every time I start the game, when you have that first little window that pops up, it's on medium. I don't know what the discrepancy is, but uh, there is one there. Uh, let's see. Uh, qual it says it's quality. I'm running 1920 by 1080. Sometimes I downscale it to the next one there. Um, usually textures are half res. I don't know why it says full res, but it's usually I run them on half res. That's one thing about it. Like sometimes I'll go into the game and the settings will be completely different than what I originally had them on. Uh, I do the fire embers and heat blur. I do the dynamic charring effects. I do dynamic destruction. I always like all that stuff. Uh, view distance is down kind of low. You know, I mean, this is basically it. There's nothing really uh, crazy here. Like I said, the shadows are disabled. Sometimes I run them on, sometimes I run them off. This varies. And I think changing the uh, texture quality just goofed it up for me. So looks like we're locked up. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope this helped you out. Uh, like I said, maybe it will. We'll see. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys have any tips as far as uh, getting it to run better on your PC as well. I've had several people say that memory is a big part of it. If, you're, uh, if your PC is a little low on the memory side, 
you're going to have trouble with it. Uh, yeah, that seems like that might be a thing. Not 100% certain on that, but I've seen a few people mention that. Thank you all for watching. Thank you guys for love and support. The channel is doing great. Like it's growing really good the past uh, week or so. And I really do appreciate each and every one of you. And with all that said, we will catch you on the streets of Brooklyn next time. Peace.